What is up? What is going on? David, SVA card collectors. Another weekend in the books. One less summer weekend, which sucks. I enjoy my summers. I really do, just like most people. Pretty busy doing nonsense all day. Did some more painting, getting ready for the little one that's coming end of September. And uh, yeah, just going crazy, going in crazy, crazy, crazy in my house, trying to clean and get things up because everything's pink and I need to get things blue or more blue. So, Leaf Trinity came out. Um, really nice looking cards. They don't have logos on them, but you get six autographs per box. Really nice looking. They have one clear card that looks really, really cool. Very expensive. You know, not very. I shouldn't say like, not Diamond Icon, 1600 a box expensive, but they're probably 200 maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. I haven't checked uh, recently, but you know, you're getting six autographs though. It's resale value, I, I don't think these are the cards to go all in for resale. I think these are the type of cards that if you buy a case, you need to sell them right away because that's the highest you know, you're going to get. And then after that, it's if you got anybody good, but they don't go for anywhere near what, you know, the logo counterparts go for. But they are nice looking cards. Uh, they really are. If you want to collect them for your PC, definitely I would maybe hold off a little bit and then buy it, you know, a month or two later. That's what I tend to tell people. And um, yeah, I, I think that that's a, a good bet. Some, some of these cards are really nice. Um, finally got my lighting box. Um, somebody recommended in the group and it was like 15, 16 bucks. I had um, my eBay bucks, so I bought it, came in. Still haven't taken a picture with it yet, but I set it all up. Um, looks really nice. The light is pretty bright. Um, I will use it tonight and I will take some pics. I was gonna say something dirty, but I'm trying to keep this PC. So um, my, my humor will not be on full display. But um, I won't be inserting anything in the box and taking pictures. I will not be doing that. No. Uh, maybe one. One time. One. That's it. So, uh, yeah, because my pictures that were coming out, they just look real crappy. And another thing, I'm a dummy on my settings. And you mean, this is nothing baseball card related. Um, well, it could be. Video... Um, I've always, video looked okay, but it looked a little grain, grainy, not too sharp, but I see everyone taking videos with um, iPhones, and it looks amazing. And I go, oh, I guess I just, I don't know how to get the right model, I, I don't know. And I have done this before, and this is the worst part, I've been there before, and I guess I just haven't checked it in a long time, or I, I, I don't know. So my brother um, was, showing me a video. I go, man, this is clear. How the hell do you get it like this? I go, that phone's really good, thinking he had an Android. He's like, it's an iPhone. He's like, yours is way better than mine. And I go, oh. He goes, go in the settings. And of course, I didn't have it all the way. So you, you put the settings all the way to, like, amazing. I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, I guess 4K. And wow, what a difference this video is. And it's good for two things. One, I can, when I shoot my YouTube videos, um, opening up cards and whatnot, it should look better. I, I will need some more lighting because the last time was no bueno. But just in regular life, <laughs> in regular life, not baseball card life, um, just taking video, it just, wow, it just pops out. So just a little helpful tip. Um, especially if you're like, I, I would suggest videotaping your box opening. And one, hey, you can build yourself a little brand like me, or two, just say you get garbage, or it's just nothing you really like, you didn't like the box, you thought you did, but you didn't. So you have this video on your phone, upload it to YouTube, if you don't have a YouTube uh, account,
account. You can use it the same as your Instagram or your eBay account or whatever. I think you see where I'm going, people. Post a box up there so you don't have to go through every damn car that you have. And go, hey, I opened up a bunch of cards. Here are the main cards. You want to see the rest? Go to my YouTube. Boom. Done. That's what I'm talking about. So just food for thought when you're opening up boxes. You should do that. Um, was pretty slow with regards to selling anything. I made my first trade. Um, I don't like trading, but if someone's going to offer me an Anduhar auto, I have to listen. You got to listen, especially of my 2019 st top stadium. I think it's 2019. Maybe not. It might have been, uh, I think it was. Um, not a sticker auto. I saw one that was a sticker auto, which I was like, eh, but still, I do like my Anduhar. Um, and I traded my Otani pitching Topps Chrome PSA 10 and a Akuna Matata 2018 Bauman Chrome PSA 9. So I think that's a fair trade that Andujar, I hope, comes back. I believe he's going to come back stronger. So I'm happy with that. I saw, and Bryce Harper, man, did you guys see that throw? He made an insane throw from right field. Uh, I believe on Saturday it was. And he caught a guy on third, and he threw it on one shot. No bounce, no nothing. Right to the third baseman. A little off target. The guy was like, it's a little off target. Guy threw like, I, I don't even know how many, how far. But he threw really far. Um, and, and nailed him. And got him. I think his cards probably are undervalued right now. I Now... I'm saying this not looking at pricing. All right, guys. I'm saying it as just watching Facebook groups, what people are saying about him. And I know his cards were going up and before the season. And then since he hasn't been doing so well, I know his cards went down a little bit. I don't know if they continued the trend. They say it's stagnant. I think he, he, there's a good opportunity for him for you to buy his cards. Maybe not his like rookie autos or, or stuff like that, but his base... Um, I forget the year. Tops update um, on PSA 10. Very similar to like the Mike Trout updates. You know, not the autos or the Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts was like really a popular last year. And his uh, base card was going up. Now it's coming down to, I saw one for 75 bucks. I'm holding mine now. Um, I had a red foil uh, Mookie Betts rookie. Not the one, not the one that everybody wants. I got the... Um, it's horizontal. Um, still, I saw some for over $200, and then the last sold, I got it graded. Sorry, let me let me speak properly. I got it graded when I opened up a box a while ago, probably uh, six months ago, and um, they were going for $200, 225 I was pumped about it, got the card graded, came back at 10 and was hold, was gonna hold on to a little bit because it to me, I wanted to, yeah, I want to flip and all I sell. But there's some cards that I want to keep for my PC that I think that's just like, I, I think these guys are gonna be not maybe not all time great, but these guys are gonna be really collectible. I think Mookie Betts is one of them. Like Mike Trout, I still think Bryce Harper is. Um, players like that, Aaron Judge, I still feel even though he gets hurt a lot. Um, I still think by his end of the career is going to be really good. Acuna Jr., but I seem to be picking him up a lot, so I'm able to sell some of his cards. Um, but there's certain cards I want to keep, and that was one of them, the, the rookie card of his. And I was going to sell the red foil. Um, but as usual, my lazy butt, excuse my language, um, just didn't do it. And now it goes for 100 bucks, and that just goes to show you um, strike when it's hot. I lost a hundred dollars. Now I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna wait. You know, see what he does. Maybe next year he becomes big. Maybe he does something where he hits, you know, 40 straight games or 50. I don't know. But you just strike when it's hot. Sometimes you gotta look at the trends. And um, I wanted to sell it, and I just didn't. I didn't because laziness. Don't be lazy. That, that's what it comes down to. Don't be lazy. Um, but 
I think Bryce Harper, I would take a look at his card. I really would, because people were hating on him. People are always going to be hating on him. Um, the other thing is, you should also look out for it. Now, again, no data behind this. I believe just common sense behind this. I would try to figure out or try to find guys like a Madison Bumgarner, and I know pitches it's a little bit more difficult, um, that you can get their rookie cards or get, try, try to see if, where I'm getting it as, guys who are free, who are going to be traded, who should be on the block, you should try to see if their cards are cheap enough or, or at the lower end, because if they go to a top tier team, for example, if Madison Bumgarner goes to the Yankees, his cards are going to rise, uh, just common sense. So if you can get them now, now maybe not. Maybe he stays in Chicago, in uh, San Francisco, and that's that. You you you, you beat, but uh, can't be too beat because you got Tim uh, Tim Winston, uh, Madison Bumgarner rookie card. Whatever happened to him, man? Dude, he was amazing, Tim Winston. He was amazing for like three or four years. The freak. He was all, like insanely good, and then he just was like, all right, well, I don't have it anymore. I'm done, and like just lost it. I don't know how someone could lose it like that, but they just did. Like Dontrell Willis, same thing. Not, I don't think it was to that extreme. I, I mean, I, I think it was, he didn't have as many good years, so it wasn't as crazy, but maybe it was. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly how many good, you know, great years Dontrell Willis had. He had a, he had a bunch, um, but those are two guys, man. Really liked those guys and then just lost it. Like UFC fighters, man. You ever see UFC fighters, they, they're dominant. They'll win like six or seven fights, and all of a sudden they lose one, done, gone. You can't win another fight. They just, it's like over. It's such a small margin. But back to what I was saying. Try to take a look at free agents that are not in the best of situations, and if they get moved, or if they talk about being moved, take a look at their cards. Um... The only one I can think of is Madison Bumgarner. I'm sure there's other guys that are going to be on the block, obviously. But since the wild, you know, with the wild card, you have a lot more teams that are, are are there. Like the Cleveland Indians were probably going to be sellers, and now they're not because they're playing well, and they think they have a chance of catching the Twins. And um, it could happen. I, I I never count any teams out, especially this early in the season. I know it's in the midway point, but ton of things can happen. Crap, the Mets can be in it. All right, let's let's not go there. Come on. Come on. Come on, they ain't going nowhere. Silly, silly Mets. I like the Knicks and the Jets. But anyway, um, Bernard in our group talked about the East Coast National which is nowhere near as big as the Nationals. I believe that's happening in a couple of weeks. And I think the East Coast National, which is up in Westchester, is going to be on the 16th, 16th, the 16th and through the 18th of August. And I think I will be going there. I'm not 100% sure. i got to check the, the old calendar. But I'm definitely going to try and get up there. It's about an hour, hour and 15 minutes away. It's not that close by to me, but it's close enough. And uh, hopefully some people from the uh, group will meet me up there. We could talk shop and uh, maybe I could do some videos with my with my new camera that I've always had. And um, yeah, that would be pretty cool. It's not gonna be as good as National. A lot, a lot of people there. And I still can't believe the Nationals. They're gonna have a bunch of those card trimming guys and, and all that nonsense and like they're going to be like prominent I'm surprised people aren't going to start yelling and screaming at them but whatever it is what it is all right i'm at my job you know what that means sva cardcollectors.com subscribe go to my website win a chance for two tops update chrome mega boxes and sva bb collectors at instagram and on twitter you know, the Facebook group. Guys, buy some cars and go broke. Later, people. What is up? What is going on? Dave at SVACardCollectors.com. 
It is hot out today, boy. I tell you that much. It is hot. It's probably gonna be hot everywhere, so because it is summertime, Dave. So I went. I did a Google search for Apple, my podcast, because I needed the link to put it in an email. And when I did the Google search, I saw I'm in on all different platforms, and um, I saw Stitcher, and I saw a review of two out of five, and. I'm not going to lie, immediately I went, what a jerk, you know, this guy is just trying to screw me up, and whatever. I actually read the review, and it actually was like one of my worst fears, because it was a lot of the things that I've been thinking in my head, and it was literally like I wrote the review, and uh, I posted it. Now, a couple of things... I really have no control over. One is it's recorded as I'm driving. That's the whole point. Suck it. You know, that's just too bad. I mean, it is what it is. The reason why I did that was because I think people can relate. You know, guys my age, you're going to work just like, you know, everyone else. So I just figured that that just made sense. Um, Next was I talk too much about New York baseball. Again, I'm from New York. You're going to be hearing it. Sorry. Now, I'm not going to be, it's not going to be a major theme, but I am going to bring it up because this is my, you know, podcast for one, but it's my truth. This is what I, that's what I watch. If I started pretending that I was, you know, I loved the, I don't know, the Brewers or whatever, you know, I start pretending like I know all about those guys. It would just be fake. So, um, but I, I do hear it. So I do talk about it a little bit less than I, I typically do. But plus, I think the guy was from Tampa Bay, and they can, you know, they can go scratch. But the other stuff is the stuff that bothered me, and it was a lot of things such as you know, making promises and then saying that he hasn't been keeping them. And which is a major theme, not just in this, but in life in general. So it is something that bothers me and it's something that I'm working on, but, ugh, you know, it, it, it ugh. And, and basically calling out that uh, really the podcast is just for him only and just to listen to him, which is in some essence true because I did this and I'm trying to keep up with it every single day. And it's very difficult at times to come up with topics. However, I don't really plan things out either. I just, what's off the top of my head. And that might not be the best for the podcast and moving forward. And so this sort of was an eye opener and trying to follow the Gary V mantra of no ego, I took it to heart. Uh, Well, not to took it to heart, but I listened to it. And they were right. I I can't disagree with them. So moving forward, it's something that I need to be more, you know, cognizant of. of, um, Actually, if I'm going to say I'm going to do it, actually doing it, not making excuses. Whatever, you know, happens, happens. So um, I just had to address that. I don't know if anyone ever even saw the Stitcher review. But now that I saw it, I think it's like five or six days old, I don't really look at reviews. Only when I look, like I said, when I copy and paste stuff. So then I go there and it'll just be there. Um, So I'm going to move on now. Now we're going to start talking about crap. Let's talk about crap. Let's beep. I have to beep at people first. So I was wrong. The 2019 Leaf Trinity, the box, you get six autos, but it was $150, not $200. So it comes out to $25, I believe if I'm doing my math right, per autograph, which is still pretty steep because the odds of you hitting something big and making more than 25 bucks, eh. But they do look really nice. I will say that. Now, I went to Walmart. Boy, do you have a bunch of crazy people at the Walmart that I go to. I typically don't go to it too much. I like my Target, my Target. But that Walmart is a little, 
But I went over there since I was going to buy Bauman Platinum. Of course, all sold out. However, like I was saying before, me thinking about this, we need to move on to other arenas, other places. So I bought a box of 2019 Leaf Draft football. Good thing about that is these, this blaster comes with two autographs, which is, I thought was awesome. And it was for 20 bucks. You can also get it on eBay. I believe I saw it for like $24. Um, I thought maybe I was getting this crazy deal, but I wasn't. But it was pretty cool that, uh, that you get two autographs in a blaster. I, I, that's nice. So I will be doing a video. I will do that tonight, and then I'll upload it the next morning. Now, I also have a article. It might have been posted already. For some reason, when I set it for 9 a.m., even though I am set for East Coast, it still does it whenever it wants to. Um, so it may be out now, but it should be coming out 9 a.m., and that will be, I'll be talking about um, all the inserts. Now, I don't think I got all of them by any stretch of the, of the imagination, but I got a lot of them. And most of them, like Bauman, is, is what really I focused on. Um, and I showed a couple of other things that I had and stuff that I found on eBay. So take a look at that. I think that will help you guys uh, if you have any questions. But to be honest with you, it's typically on the card. So you don't, you know, if it says you get an insert and it's out of 150, it'll say on the card 150. Um, but again, guys, if you can, share comment on the articles I can't do more you know I could do more stuff but I don't know if it's benefiting anyone I see people coming and reading it and you know they go see and then that's it I don't get any feedback so that does that stuff helps me out um, you know maybe there may be a set you go man what's this crap and then I can just edit the I'll just edit the article and just keep on going uh, it's it's a working, living document. It's not something that can, you know, I, I can keep like that. It has to stay like that forever. Now, I had a question that I saw this morning about the home run challenge. Now, in top series one and two, you have a home run challenge. And basically, it, I believe it was 35 guys that they have and um, on the set, typically home run hitters. And you go, I think Cody Bellinger is going to hit a home run today. Well, he hit two yesterday. And this guy said, hey, I was right. Do I get extra inserts? You do not get extra inserts. Not at all. So that's to answer your question. As long as they hit one, that's it. That's all that matters. They can hit 100. It don't matter. And Cody Bellinger, man, he's on fire. He has like, I think he has like 33 home runs. You, uh, I tell you, I missed out last year. I really wanted to get his cards, and I just, I, I never, I would go after him, and I just wouldn't win. That, that's what it came down to, and it was one, and it was always like a buck or two, and it, ah, that's all I gotta say. That's my Cody uh, Bellinger rant. Ah. Now, tomorrow is a big day in baseball cards for two reasons. One, Allen and Ginter is coming out. Now. Like I've said before, I do like Allen and Ginter, the base cards. I think they are really good looking. I do not like all the Mickey Mouse stuff like uh, striped bass or uh, phases of the moon or not, you know, celebrity guys. Um, it just, it doesn't do it for me. Gary V is fine because I like Gary V, of course. But beyond that, I really don't care. Um, so... That's my only issue with it, but I probably will. I'm going to buy a blaster of it whenever I can find it because a lot of times when I go, they're already sold out. So I might have to go to the local card shop for that or the LCS, as they say. So there you get eight cards per pack, 24 packs per hobby box, and you get three hits. They don't guarantee nothing. So it's either an autograph, a relic, a booklet with a bunch of who knows what, you know, usually it's autographs. And also rip cards. And rip cards are, you get a card, and I know Otani was a big one. So you have a card, and you can either rip it. And if you rip the card inside, it's either a mini card or an autograph card or a relic or nonsense card. You know, it all depends. You can rip it, and you get nothing. 
or you can rip it and you get something great. And that's what makes it more, more fun, more fun, more gooder. It's a, a bigger um, gamble. So I don't know if I would do that, if I would actually rip it, if I had the balls to do it, but you have that. Tomorrow is also Dunruss Optic. Um, they look really cool, these cards. Even though they don't have the logos, they're nice looking cards for the most part. Now, these cards, uh, you get four cards per pack in the hobby box. You get 20 packs in the box. I was seeing them around $92 per box, and you get two um, autos per box. Now, some, I know, um, if you get a case, they have like special boxes within the case where you get five autos, but good luck with you getting that one. I'll tell you that right now. Good luck. Um, also, with the Allen and Ginther, I saw those also at $95 as well. I would go with Allen and Ginther if you're going to buy a hobby box. Um, that's just me. Also, reselling value. Um, I will send an email um, probably today, and it'll probably be later in the day. And I'll provide links to where you guys can buy it, where I can find it on eBay that's the cheapest. Um, I think that worked out well. Like uh, yesterday, I was talking about Harper. I sent out an email about some auctions that were ending soon. I realized they were pro Obstein and people are eh, about all these uh, consigners. But it is what it is. They went for pretty cheap. 60 65 70 bucks for a 2012 Topps Update Harper uh, PSA 10. I think he's going to be fine. I think you're buying low now. Eventually, if the Phillies make it to the playoffs and he does well, I think it's going to be a steal. So, um, yes. So, I think I'll do that. Now, basketball. Tomorrow, Panini Opulence Basketball. $1,000 per box. So, don't be cheap. Don't spend some money. Come on. If you're going to get into basketball, beautiful cards. Amazingly beautiful cards. You should take a look on YouTube and see if there's um, case openings and take a look at these cards. They're really nice. Six autos you get in, this, in these cards. One rookie patch and one ruby base parallel. I'm sure you would be thrilled if you did a um, box break and you got the ruby base parallel. Uh, what a ball, that would be a ball busting thing if I saw that. Ugh. And football. 2019 Panini Elements is coming out tomorrow. So it's a pretty big all around day for um, cards being released. Now this one is $145 per box. You do get two autographs, autographs, autos, and one relic. These cards, I noticed they have three round corners and then the right, bottom right hand corner is a sharp corner. To be honest with you, they didn't look that great. The inserts looked nice, but the base cards themselves didn't look that great. I wasn't too impressed with them. It doesn't mean anything. I'm just telling you, that's what my initial view of, of it on card connection. But I, I didn't see the cards being opened yet, so we'll find out more when we start seeing that. All right, guys, I'm at my job. You know what that means. Dave. <sighs> yeah, I know what that means. SVACardCollectors.com, that's my website. SVA Card Collectors, the Facebook group, or I think Baseball Card Collectors is the Facebook group. Um, SVA BB Collectors on Instagram, on Twitter, on Flick Chat. A bunch of crap I have on there. Um, still doing my promotion, so head over to my website, SVACardCollectors.com, and win a chance to sign up and win a chance to get two. Tops uh, Chrome update from 2018. The mega boxes. Could get a chance to get your Otani or Cunha or just nothing. So, <laughs> all right, guys. You guys know what to do. Buy some cards and go broke, people. Later.